His army controls almost two-thirds of Libya and the main oil fields in the country. General Khalifa Haftar has been strengthened by successful offensive. With military support provided by foreign countries, Haftar was able to gain ground and move further east and south. And he is now seeking to control the capital Tripoli in an attempt to bring all of Libya under his control. This has raised fears of another deadly civil war. So who is Khalifa Haftar and who is supporting him? Khalifa Haftar is a former Libyan army general who spent two decades in self-imposed exile in the US after he was disowned by Libya's Muammar Gaddafi. He returned to Libya in 2011 and joined the fight against Gaddafi and became a key commander of the makeshift rebel forces. A few years later, he became a main player in the Libyan civil war after he gathered militias and launched Operation Dignity, a military campaign aimed at ousting Al-Qaeda and its affiliates out of Benghazi and the East. But what started as a military campaign against the extremist groups in eastern Libya turned into an attempt to control all of the country. Haftar aligned with the Tobruk government and became the leader of the Libyan National Army, a mix of military units and militias. Emboldened by his recent gains and support from his allies, Haftar ordered his self-styled Libyan National Army to march to Tripoli on April 4th in an attempt to oust the UN-backed government of national accord after years of political deadlock between the two rivals. Four weeks into Haftar's assault in Tripoli, the warlord is not making any military progress. But fighting around the capital has killed hundreds and resulted in a mass exodus as thousands left their homes. So who is supporting Haftar in his new war? The UAE has been providing Haftar with military support for years. It was one of the countries accused of violating the international arms embargo on Libya for giving weapons to Haftar's al in August 2014, during Haftar's Operation Dignity, Emirates airplanes conducted airstrikes on Benghazi from an Egyptian airbase. In 2016, the UAE built up a military base in Al Khadim in eastern Libya to support Haftar's military operation. Haftar's al has also received aircrafts and military vehicles from the UAE. According to the Wall Street Journal, the UAE has also participated in secret negotiations with Haftar in 2018 to export Libya's oil through channels other than the UN-approved exporter. Days before Haftar launched his offensive on Tripoli, he was on a visit to Saudi Arabia. He met King Salman, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the Kingdom Intelligence Chief and the Foreign Minister. The Wall Street Journal reported that Saudi Arabia promised Haftar millions ahead of his military campaign. The source quoted said the money was intended to buy the loyalty of Libyan tribal leaders and pay fighters. Egypt has close ties with Haftar. During the assault on Tripoli, Haftar visited Egypt and took President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's blessing. A statement by Sisi's office confirmed Egypt's support for the Haftar offensive. Egypt has previously provided military support to Haftar's military campaign in 2014. Although France publicly supports the UN-backed government in Tripoli, it has also provided Haftar with financial, military and intelligence support. The double role played by France in the conflict sparked disputes with other European countries. Italy, for instance, fears the influx of migrants to its shores if the fighting continues. Italy has accused France of jeopardizing Libya's security in return for economic and commercial benefits after France blocked an EU resolution condemning Khalifa Haftar's assault on Tripoli. France has a strategic partnership with Haftar as it relies on oil imports from the Haftar-controlled regions of Libya. But Libyans were not happy about France's involvement with Haftar. France's oil giant Total has access to Haftar-controlled oil reserves in the southern and eastern parts of Libya. In March 2018, Total has expanded its reach through a $450 million deal, purchasing a 16% stake in the Waha Oil Company, a subsidiary of Libya's state-owned oil enterprise. But suspicion of France's support for Haftar looms large. This month, Tunisia arrested a group of 13 armed French nationals across the border. France said the group is part of a diplomatic mission, while media reports said the group was made up of French intelligence personnel providing logistical support to the LNA. Although the US officially backs the GNA, President Donald Trump contradicted his country's foreign policy and praised Haftar's fight to eradicate terrorism and protect his country's oil reserves. A report by Bloomberg stated that President Trump gave the green light for Haftar to continue his offensive on Tripoli during a phone call made last week. Trump's backing of Haftar came after a conversation with Haftar's allies in the region, Egypt's Sisi and the UAE's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed. 
Trump's conversation with Haftar took place after Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi met with the US President on April 9 and urged him to back Haftar, according to the two people familiar with the matter. Trump also spoke with Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, a Haftar supporter, the day before the White House issued a statement acknowledging the call with Haftar. With foreign support on side, will Haftar be able to control the Libyan capital?